What a great day to learn new things. Welcome to Munting Siyen Saya, where learning becomes easy once we explore. Come and join me for today's adventure. We learned all about matter and how they change from one phase to another. And today, we will start our lesson by reviewing that and see what you have learned. All you need to do is to explore the map with its five stations. Once you complete and answer all the tasks, you achieve a star. day it is the sun shines brightly two winds are blowing oh wait the clouds appear darker raindrops started to fall have you ever wondered where the rain comes from i bet you want to know more about that maybe you could join me for a lab at home activity today are you excited? Let's go!
are going to talk about how the water from the billions of years ago has been recycled by the earth and is being used by each one of you today. The process of the earth recycling water is called the water cycle. As water goes through this process, it changes states from solid, liquid, and gas. What is the water cycle? The water cycle is the name we give to describe the way water moves throughout the planet Earth. It has two other names, the hydrological cycle and the H2O cycle. The funny thing is, is that the water that falls from the sky as rain today might have fallen last week, last month, last year, or thousands of years ago. It is the greatest recycler of all time. How does the water move in a cycle? The water cycle has four main parts. These are the steps the water goes through when it's moving through the earth. Number one, evaporation. This happens when bodies of water like lakes, rivers, and oceans heat up. When the water becomes hot, it forms vapors that goes into the air. Condensation. This is the opposite of evaporation. Condensation happens when the vapor in the air gets cold. When the vapor gets cold, it gets transformed back into a liquid form. This is what makes clouds. Precipitation. Precipitation happens when the water that went up in the sky gets released. Depending on the temperature, the water comes down as liquid or solid. Rain, when the water comes down as a liquid, and snow, when the water comes down as a solid. Accumulation. This happens when the water collects in one place and forms a river, lake, or any body of water. What do you think happens after the water accumulates? Now, I have a simple diagram to illustrate the water cycle. First, when the warmth from the sun causes water from oceans, lakes, streams, and soils to rise into the air and turns into water vapor, this process is called evaporation. Water vapor droplets join together to make clouds. Next, this is when water vapor in the air cools down and turns back into liquid water. This is called condensation. Next, precipitation. This is when water falls from clouds in the sky. It may be a form of rain, snow, hail, or sleet. And the last would be accumulation. This is when water that falls from the clouds will collect in oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams. Most will soak into the ground and will collect as underground water. After that, the cycle repeats again.
day. See you to our next episode of our Munting Siyensiya. This is Teacher Christine saying, keep well and safe.